Hello and welcome back to my live stream of Red Dead Redemption. Here to try and finish this game off now. I was supposed to finish it last night, but I didn't quite do it. Because I'm meant to be playing Fallout 76, but sadly, if you look here, go to Okay, maybe not. I was gonna say if you look at my notifications, you'll see that. I've got three hours till the update is in. So it gives me a chance to finish that cinema. Which is good in a way. Ain't you serious? I thought it was a free country was all. <laughs> oh well. He was not happening. Go check something, because I'm the check this. Haircut. Hello. Looking for a trim? Let's go, girl. No, oh, I'll let that right here. Got any work? Yeah. I mean, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. 
He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north, so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah, it's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on, mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Yeah. Come on, Sydney, come on. Get in your horse quarter. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or drop down dead in their own tracks it's good country all country is good it's just folk that are bad you know who i got up there with me uncle besides uncle abigail uh, abigail ain't come there just yet really you er want to talk about it well maybe but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in Saint Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along, too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there, whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out. For who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But <sighs> not now. Come on. Oh well, that was a lovely conversation. Country. They'll be down there. So, 
James Langton, the bounty hunter. He's got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. So we're going on there to kick ass and shoot bubblegum. You know, I've been and doing bounty come. hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. We cut off here. This is the place. It's a view, all right. Come on. Take a look down in the valley. Man, Jesus Christ. Anything? Not yet. Keep looking between here and that town. They'll be there somewhere. I think I see something. Yup. There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied hmm. up. Very funny. And that big fat fella with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? I don't know. Come on. Let's go follow them. Come on, Sadie. Let's get after them. I'm already on my horse. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. Oh, she's annoying. Yeah, I'm gonna get back on my horse when I'm all out. They'll be coming through here. Sounds it. My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at them. You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. Fuck was that noise? Up here, get off your horse. This might be our chance. Yeah, they're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call.
Go right in the gang. See, I don't want to be a dick either. Make up your mind, John. Well, let's just sneak. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay. Well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Got a knife it. Let's go. Where's she going? We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. Two guys, blow us. Let's get closer. You just rolled that fucking rock. You gotta throw a knife. Head as it is, we got to do something about these boys. You got it. Okay, let's move. Up ahead, another one on patrol. I'll take care of him. Okay, Sadie, you crazy bitch. He's good. You're gonna hear us on these bridges, but it's worth a try. He's rattling across. Game's up. Let's do this quick. Shut. You're hit. Sneaking in. You see them on the pads. Oh, no, damn it. You're a cop now. Shotgun. Oh, huh? at at I'm running at them. Just like that. Just like that. Say it, John. Try to throw your very perfect. Dead. Hell, 
That's what you get for robbing me, Langton. Come on, it's time to collect. She dead or alive? Come on. Okay, you're taking Finley. Let's go. Get him on your horse. I don't know if I shot him. Down the canyon. Let's ride. I'm coming. No. I think I asked the shortest guy. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I did. I'll have to rewatch it. Are you going to speak? I don't know, there's really much to say. You ain't gone soft in these years, have you? Can you kick it up, please? Uh, sorry, I had to take a drink there. Always was a little dreamy. <laughs> Thanks. Anyway, you were saying. Do I seem soft? What's gotten into you? Finley's dead. Langton's dead. His men. But you ain't getting robbed no more, so. Listen, John. I have to stick up for myself. No one else will. They were bad men. I know. I know. The truth is, I might be more cut out for this work than ranching, or having a family. Maybe killing's all I'm good for, too. That ain't the truth, John. You're gonna be an old man on your porch with grandkids around. Just, you gotta pay for it, is all. I don't know if you can do both. I get these thoughts. Yeah, that's what the drink is for. Or fishing. Or anything. You're strong enough to handle it. I hope I am. Sometimes in the past, that ain't always been the case. <gasps> Coming up on the jailhouse. Let's show this body to them. You better have read that bounty poster right. We'll see. Okay. It'd be so funny if she hasn't. Bring him and put him on a bed. Sheriff can call the undertaker if he wants to. We brought in Shane Finley. Well, what's left of him. Well, it certainly looks like him. Shame. I was looking forward to watching you swing. Throw him out back, would you? I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. Uh. You want this money to go to the bank too? No, I'll uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right. Well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town, or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. <laughs> 